Rollins, and welcome to Season 1, Episode 2 of Cooking with Roland. Today we're making watermelon salad, baked chicken with mango salsa, cucumber ribbons, and rice, and a strawberry pudding with mixed berries. Today's ingredients are chicken, feta cheese, basil, watermelon, balsamic vinegar, olive oil, salt and pepper, sesame oil, rice vinegar, avocado oil, rice, cucumber, red onion, cilantro, mango, lemon, lime, mixed berries, cashews, coconut milk, and um, honey. Today we're starting with our watermelon appetizer. These are the ingredients. Watermelon, basil, feta cheese, salt and pepper, balsamic vinegar, and olive oil. The first step is to cut the watermelon into small chunks. Make sure you've cut it out of the rind first. Now cut it into small chunks. Flip it around and cut it again. And then you're done. You may want to have your mom or dad help you with cutting the watermelon into halves. Now you put the watermelon in the bowl. Now you want to cut the basil. Remember, you want to cut it in ribbons, not diced, like this. As thin as you can. Then toss it in. Now you want to add some of the feta cheese. Add as much as you desire. Now we're going to make the sauce. The. So first we put in some balsamic vinegar. Now we put in some olive oil. This olive oil is San Miguel olive oil. And I like to use it because it's a award-winning olive oil and, my, and it's my grandpa's olive oil. And just add a pinch of pepper and a pinch of salt. Then mix it together a bit. You're done. Put that in and start stirring it up. Now you're done with your appetizer. Now it's time to start preparation for dinner and dessert. First, preheat the oven to 425. Now it's time for the rice. Pour one and a half cups of water into the pan and then turn it on high and wait for it to come to a boil. Now it's time for the chicken. Remember, anything that touches the chicken must be washed. Chicken can get you very sick if you eat anything of it that's raw. Seasoning the chicken is very simple. First add a little bit of avocado oil. Now put some pepper and some salt on your chicken. And then it's ready to go in the oven. And the water for the rice is boiling by now. So add your jasmine rice slowly. And that will cook for about 30 minutes. When cooking rice, you have to put on the top and turn it on to low. Now is a good time to pour some hot 
to pour hot water over the cashews. It's about two cups. Remember, the cashews is part of the dessert, not the entree. Now we're gonna do our mango salsa. The ingredients are cucumber, cilantro, red onion, lime, a ripe mango, and some salt and pepper. Now it's time to cut everything. Get a good knife and dice everything up. Get it as small as you can. Cut the onion. My challenge of the week is try not to cry while you're cutting your onion. And now cut up your mango. Now get your cilantro, cut that up. And squeeze your lime. And pour that in, put the lime juice in. Season it with salt and pepper. And maybe a little bit more of it. And then mix it up. And now you've got a really nice mango salsa. We just took the chicken out of the oven and it looks great. It's been about 20 minutes, so we're gonna turn off our rice and we're, and we're gonna change it to a different burner. Remember, don't lift off the lid from the rice, otherwise you'll get very sticky rice. Now we're gonna do the cucumber ribbons. We need rice vinegar, sesame oil, olive oil, honey, and of course, cucumber. Now it's time to peel the cucumbers. You can lift it up if you'd like, and then get it down, and you'll get a nice ribbon. You want as many of these as you can. you've peeled enough ribbons, like so, you want to take all your of your oils, vinegars, and honey, mix them together, and drizzle that over them. Kind of just slowly drizzle it over them. And then add a pinch of pepper and a pinch of salt to it. You've got really nice looking ribbons. Now it's time to play. Before we do this, I'd like to say that we always use organic stuff. First, I have to cut the chicken into slices. Once that's done, you wanna place it just how it was on the plate. Push it together. Now I want to add some mango salsa to it. Add some of that on top. Maybe a little bit more. Now add some of the strips right there. Kind of try to put them in a cool order if you want. Put some of those on. And maybe pour a little of the juice on if you want. 
to give it more flavor. And now, final thing, the rice. Use a measuring cup of about one cup and get some of the rice on there. And maybe a little pepper on it and some salt. And all around the plate. And you are done. Now it's time for dessert. The ingredients are soaked cashews, coconut milk, honey, lemon, mixed berries, and frozen strawberries. First step to tonight's dessert is to put the two cups of strawberries into the fruit processor. Blend it until it's nice content. Blend it until it's a nice consistency. Now add the um, cashews. They've been soaked in water for about a half an hour, so they'll be softer and easier to blend. It may sound like a weird combination, but it actually tastes very good. Now add coconut milk. This will lighten it up. Now you want to add the lime juice, I mean the lemon juice, onto there, into it. And a tablespoon of honey for sweetness. Now it's time to serve it. Take a small measuring cup and pour it into the glass or a bowl, whatever you're using. After that's done, you want to make it look nice, so put a blackberry, a raspberry, a few blueberries in there, and strawberries on either side. Awesome. Are you recording this? Are you recording this, Dad? I would never do that. You're recording it, Dad. You're recording it. My cameraman is recording this. <laughs>